Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Melissa. And for today's video, I'm gonna try not to get emotional, you guys, but obviously I have a huge pull behind me and I'm gonna be chopping it. I don't think I'm ready, but it has to be done because she has reached the top and it's one of my old plastic poles. I have to get rid of it. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional for this one. I don't know. If you guys don't know, I love moss poles in growing plants to have mature leaves. It is a goal of mine. And I did a video several months ago on a pole chop. It was on my Monstera adansonii. I will link my chop and extend that I did on that plant. This is basically gonna be the same process. So this is my Epipremina Marble Queen. I will give you guys a closer look at this plant. And she has been growing on a pole since January of this year. I first started her on the pole and she was a small plant and a pretty fast climber. I definitely recommend starting a Marble Queen or a Pothos on a pole. They grow and attach and climb very, very quickly and very well. So it's very rewarding. Back then I was still using plastic for moss poles, not thinking ahead into the future, how unsteady they would become as the plants climb. Their vines get thicker, their leaves get bigger, and plastic poles just cannot support the weight, even with a heavy ceramic, even with using a stake to the back of the pole. So I made the decision to switch to wire poles, and all of the new poles that I have started have been on wire. I have some poles that are still remaining on plastic. This is one of them. And I'm gonna do the same process where I chop the plant, and use a wire pole to encapsulate the plastic so it's a little bit more steady and then as the plant climbs more i'll extend it one time and then after it grows to the top of that i will i have a cat down here you can't see her <laughs> hi cutie hi <laughs> After it grows to the top, I will extend it you know, one time, and then once it reaches the top of that, I will chop it one more time to get rid of the plastic base. So I was successful with doing this with my Adansonii. My Adansonii is growing great and sizing up nicely. I will be chopping that plant again once it reaches the top so I can completely get rid of that plastic base. It's a little bit more tricky because you can't just take a plant off of a pole. You can't take all those roots out of that moss that has grown into it and just stick them in a new pole. It does not work that way. So the only way to get this plant to continue climbing and maturing is to chop it. And whatever roots are inside of that moss is the root system, the new root system and it will hopefully support that chop to continue growing and maturing. So since I was successful with my Adansonii, I feel confident that the Marble Queen will do just fine. I just kind of have to think back and simulate that process I did to kind of recreate it for this plant. And so I'm gonna give you a closer look at my Marble Queen pole and the plan for her, and then we're gonna get started on chopping. So this is my Marble Queen, Epipremina Marble Queen. You can see as she has climbed, her leaves at the top have grown pretty large. And this is my hand. It is quite a large leaf. It measures, I think, nine inches, which is pretty big. And you can see the vine has completely gone way past the top of the pole. You can see all those little aerial roots there. They don't have anything else to climb onto. So I have to chop her, and this is the back of the pole. You can see I have a garden stake attached all the way down, and obviously there's no plant growing on the back. It is all facing forward towards the light. So this plant has a root system contained inside of the moss as well in the base where the soil is. So the soil roots are not the only roots on this plant. So when I go to chop it, it will have enough root system inside the moss to support the chop. So one vine is the main vine on this plant, as you can see, and it is a lot fuller down here because I do have two other vines. The one here in the middle is starting to catch up and get thicker. It is giving me like a green leaf, a variegated leaf, and the newest one is a green leaf. And I actually have one more vine that's more of a snow queen, and it is very, 
very Snow Queeny. Look at that variegation. So since this is where I extended before, I should be able to chop all three vines and let them all three continue growing and maturing. So my plan is to chop here and I will extend on top with wire and I'll have a little bit of room for the plant to keep growing and then I'm gonna have to chop again at some point. And then the rest of the plant, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this bottom half. I may include some of it on the new pole. I'm not quite sure yet. I just know that I can't extend on top of it again because it is you know, plastic and I just wanna get rid of the plastic base. So again, when I go to chop it, this whole part is gonna still be plastic and I have a pre-made wire pole that I'm going to encapsulate the plastic to hopefully transfer the plant off of the plastic onto the wire. So I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Hopefully it does, but I probably explained it better in my last video. And I honestly didn't know what I was doing in my last chop video, but it is just gonna be a difficult process because I'm dealing with the plastic pole. If you have any questions about my process, definitely let me know. But again, I, will, I have a whole playlist dedicated to moss poles that you can refer back to. But yeah, I'm just gonna record and just show you my process again on how I'm gonna get this plant onto a wire pole and how I'm gonna go about doing that. So I'm nervous, I'm excited, but I'm ready to get her done. The plan is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the vines so they can somewhat dry and callous before I replant the top half so the top half when I chop it is gonna be the new bottom part of the pole. So I have to remove some of the moss and whatever roots are in there are gonna be the new bottom part of the pole, if that makes sense. So the new bottom part of the pole is gonna be in soil. So those ends have to dry and callus first. So I'm gonna chop them first. And then I will take the pole apart and get working on my process. There's a nice big root on this plant coming out on this side, on this vine. So I'm gonna chop this middle one right here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. It's, it's really hard to show you what I'm doing. So I just wanna make sure to include as many roots as possible so I don't shock the plant too much. But this middle vine, I'm gonna chop right there to include that big root. Okay, I'm gonna chop, okay. This is the middle vine, not the big one yet. Oh no! The middle one is chopped right there. You can't really see with all the leaves in the way, but I'll show you once I'm kind of chopping them all. I'm gonna chop here on this vine, this one on the edge. Okay. I'm trying to record some video with my phone as well so I can have some other content on chopping this plant. So if I'm looking like another way, just ignore that. All right, so I gotta cut the middle vine. I'm gonna cut the main vine right here is where I'm gonna cut. Okay, I'm nervous, you guys. I'm gonna cut it. Okay, it's done. So I'm gonna remove this stake out of the back here. It's just zip tied. So I'm gonna chop all the zip ties away. All right, stake is removed. And then I'm gonna remove those. And then so where the two plastic poles meet here, I'm gonna cut the zip ties and remove the top half because I can remove the top half since I cut the vines already.
Okay, so this is where it's zip tied and the pole, two poles meet. So since there's roots contained in here, I'm just kind of chopping up the plastic to get the roots out of the plastic, basically. I'm just cutting the plastic. We are gonna pull her apart in three. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my goodness, so this is the top half of my pole. Look at that. So since this is gonna be the new bottom part of my pole, I have to remove about that much moss to fit in the pot. And whatever root system is here is gonna be the new root system in the pot. And it'll grow new roots in the soil. And all the roots here are gonna help support the plant and the chop that it just went through. And it's going to hopefully continue growing without much of a shock. I'm not gonna have very much room for this plant to grow. I'm gonna to have to do another pole extension on this one. So I wanna go get another pole and I will be right back. Okay, you guys will just have to forgive the chaoticness of this video because again, I've only ever done this once, like using wire over plastic, but this is just what I'm gonna have to do in order for this plant to continue growing. <laughs> So I basically have to remove all of this moss to like here. I'm gonna have to remove moss. I'm gonna stick a thing in here as my guide. So I need to undo these zip ties. <laughs> I'm like, there is no way I am doing this in my plant room. I already have such a huge mess, but at least I can vacuum the floor. Oh gosh, things are flying everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna have to remove this one too. And I'm just gonna use this moss for you know, I actually am gonna go through my prop box for another video, so I'm just gonna reuse this moss. I don't care. I mean, I, I haven't had a plant in this one, so it's good moss. I'm not gonna waste this or anything. Basically, I'm just gonna slide this entire thing of moss out. This was just, again, a pre-made pole that I already had. So what I wanna do is literally take this wire and enclose the plastic. I just gotta make sure I have enough of this moss out of here. I am going to give you guys a different view so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna pan you down so you can kind of see more up close. Okay, so hopefully that's better to where you can see. So this is the new bottom part of my pole. This is basically, you're just like removing moss from moss roots. Like if you had a propagation, this is no different because there's so many roots that have grown into the moss itself. I'm basically just removing the moss so that I can plant the bottom half into soil. Oh no, let's see, this one wasn't, this one doesn't even like root that much. It literally came right off. But I'm still gonna add it to the pole. I think it'll be 
okay, and I think it'll still climb okay. I did chop off the entire base, so I don't know how that one's gonna do, honestly. It's the one that was most variegated too, so I was hoping I could get it to climb with this. I actually might take some more of the Marble Queen and just add it to the base and get like another couple vines of that one growing on here. I think, I think that's what I wanna do. And so, oh, this is the pot that I'm using. So I just wanna make sure to remove enough of this moss. I still need to remove some. I know it's gonna be hard to see, but do you see all those roots in there? Every single node has rooted into the moss. So every node you can see has a root system. I don't know if it's picking up the roots that well. So that's why I'm not really concerned about chopping this plant because these are gonna be the new roots and it's gonna do just fine. All right, so I think I got enough of the moss out of here. And so this is all the roots gonna be the new part of the bottom part of the pole. And so this wire, I am basically going to set the plastic inside of the wire so that the wire can support the plastic. And I'll have a little wire extra at the top part of the pole. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and extend onto the wire so that the plant has enough room to climb. And then eventually once it reaches the top again, I will cut to get rid of this entire plastic piece. So that is the plan. So before I fill with soil and all that, I need to get this plant sitting in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn it this way. I don't know, it's really hard to angle the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm basically just sitting the plastic inside of the metal is all I'm doing. So it is fitting inside nicely, and I just need to add some zip ties to tighten this a bit. I can't tighten it all the way because, you know, I don't wanna hurt these aerial roots, you know? I'm gonna be zip tying the wire onto the plastic a little bit just to better manage this and make it a little bit steadier is all I'm doing. I'm just starting in the middle because I guess that's just where I want to start. I think what I did with the old pole is I bent part of this down, which I think I'm going to have to bend part of this because I can't like close it all the way because it's going to snap the vine. Hi, girlfriend. Have you been sleeping? Hi. You look sleepy. You guys have been napping for a while. Say, what is this mess, huh? I have such a big mess over here.
Okay, guys, I have a, such a huge mess. Okay, so here is the wire all encapsulated with the pole. So I have to fill this with soil. You can see that is all roots in there. So I took the moss out to about here. So I'm gonna fill this with soil like a normal pole. And I, so this plant is a little lopsided at the top. It's like bending down because it was like growing curved up over the pole because you know it needed to be extended. So it's gonna straighten back out up top and I had to put a Velcro to secure the vine here, the newest vine just so that it, it has time to like root into the moss. And so I don't have very much room for the plant to climb up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend again. But before I extend again, I'm going to pot it up. And yeah, I basically just zip tied the wire pole around the plastic. And I cut a little bit of the pole here. Instead of bending it, I actually probably could have just cut it to size and zip tied it. But I bent it for the last one, so that's why I bent it. And then up here, the wire was cutting into the vine, so I couldn't close it as much as I wanted. So that's why I cut like part of it off right here with some wire cutters. So it's not, it's steady on its own, like it's standing up on the floor. So I think it'll be fine to go ahead and extend on top because the wire is providing support now instead of it just being plastic. So this is my new pole. I'm gonna pot up, extend on top, and hopefully it won't go into too much shock and I can continue letting it climb and get large leaves. So I'm gonna make my mix up and then we'll do an extension real quick. And so let me bend you down. So I have, cats are out now and are hyper and are eating. I have zip ties and wire cutters everywhere. Girlfriend, give me that. <laughs> There is moss over this entire floor. <laughs> so I have an empty bin. This is what I use for soul soils. So I just have like no soil in here. So I'm gonna open up their houseplant mix that I opened up last time and just dump it in here, dump it in my bin. And then I'm gonna add some charcoal because I like charcoal in my mixes. This cat is taking zip ties out of my bag and literally trying to eat them. So I have about that much charcoal. This cat is crazy. Okay, so this is gonna be the mix that I'm using here. And we are going to take our new pole and fill the bottom half with soil. I might have to get rid of this leaf. I had to get rid of the other leaf on the other side. bottom leaf. Okay. I'm just going to fill up around the pot. All right, so we got to add our other plant in. I forgot about that. And I might take a couple more cuts. So do I need to take a piece of wire. So I'm gonna add this. This is all the roots that this cutting has. So I'm gonna add this right in the center here. I'm just gonna plop it down in here so that the roots will be at the soil level. And hopefully this cutting makes it. It would be a shame to lose this. Now the question is, I sort of want to take another cutting. Or two of this one that's very marbly and add it down in here. Oh yeah, see, I pulled that right out of the pole. Do you see the roots on that? 
I'm gonna add this one right down next to it. I will show you guys what it looks like up close. I just have to be able to see. I am gonna use fertilizer. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I did and then we will do the top extension. All right, so here is the new top half. And again, these top leaves will have to, it'll straighten back out cause it was curved on top, you know? So it'll, it'll eventually grow um, and attach onto the pole that way. I don't wanna Velcro the new growth cause it was kind of getting bent the way that it was curved up top. So I just have to be mindful. I think this will help it. And then it will, as this is wet, it'll reach back to it and kind of like fan out towards the light. And then you can see the wire here around the plastic and I just zip tied it. This is where I bent the side. And so the wire around the plastic is just providing support until I can fully get rid of the plastic. So this is the main vine and this was the middle vine here so it i was able to save what i don't know a few nodes and the one that was on the edge is now in the middle this white one you can see and it wasn't very rooted so i don't know how it's going to do and then i added a fourth one which you can't see it's kind of buried down in here and it has these um, two leaves here that new one so it'll hopefully push new growth. It is like a mid cut technically, so it'll take a while, but hopefully I can get it to grow up so that I'll have like four vines growing. So I just have to make sure that this stays hydrated so those roots can be encouraged to grow into the soil. And I'll just have to make sure to keep this pole moist way more than my other poles because the root system that this plant has is just contained in the moss. So that's it, it's, this plant doesn't have any more roots until it grows more down in the soil. So I just have to be mindful to keep it a little bit more watered. And since I don't have enough room, I'm gonna go ahead and extend another pole on top of here and add that stake back into the back and it should be steady and stable. So yeah, let me get to extending this girl and then we'll finish up this video. Okay. So here's the top of my pole. This is another pre-made pole that I had. And so all I'm gonna do is undo these zip ties. Oh my gosh, I have such a mess. And I'm just gonna slide this down over top. Just like that. And then I will just zip tie the back of this shut the best I can. You just wanna make sure that the moss is flush against the other pole. And I think I'll just hydrate this moss in the shower. I think I'll just hose her off. I think would be the easiest way. I wish I had a little bit of a bigger pole because this is not like flush as much as I would want it, you know? And I definitely just don't feel like making more for this. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a gap in the back. I think it'll be okay. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> All right, so the stick we are gonna stake in the back of the plant.
And we are gonna zip tie the stake now to the back of the pole. I knew this was gonna be a messy project, but oh my goodness, <laughs> the mess. All right, I think I'm going to hose her off in the shower, give her a good drink, and then I'm gonna show you what she looks like after that. And I just, and I gotta find a ceramic because it's not, it doesn't have any roots down here, so the plant base isn't steady. And you know, since it's technically still plastic, it's not that steady. So I gotta find a heavy ceramic. And then I don't think I'm gonna film the base at all. I might just, I think I'm just gonna chop it all up because I don't wanna extend on top and these leaves are still pretty small. So I think I'm just gonna chop this all up and just plant it in a new pot and just have like another hanging basket basically. I think that's all I'm gonna do for that. But yeah, let me hose her off and then I will show you what she looks like. Okay, you guys, are you ready? It's been like, 30-ish minutes, I cleaned up the mess and I gave her a shower in the tub. I let her drain, I give her a good soak. In the meantime, I chopped up the rest of the pole and I'll show you that. And then let me show you her, she's back there. And just look at her, you guys. I have a good little extension for her to keep climbing and I just can't with these leaves. Hopefully she doesn't go into too much shock. I actually meant to water with Super Thrive and I forgot to do that. So I might water her with a little extra Super Thrive all the way through, but yeah, not the steadiest of poles at all, but it's gonna have to do for now. I'm just like happy to see her somewhat on the progress to, you know, getting onto a metal pole. All right, and I'm gonna show you what we did with the bottom half. So I completely chopped up the bottom half. These were the smaller ones towards the bottom and these were still some larger mid cuts that were like in the middle of the pole. Some of them were rooted, some of them weren't. I did break a lot of roots trying to get all these cuttings out, but that's okay, you know. I will have two other pots of Marble Queen and I may end up getting maybe rid of a Marble Queen because the actual, the original plant is over there. This is the plant that I started her on is over here. You can see the white, more of the white leaves. So I'll definitely keep the original and then I'll probably end up keeping these bigger cuts and then I might end up just getting rid of that one down the road. But I'm gonna let those root and stuff first and get situated before I let that one go. But I'm gonna be so excited to watch her continue growing. Uh, it's been a process, but I think it's good. It's always emotional chopping a plant. It's only my second chop and I definitely got emotional on this girl. So that is it. We are done with this video. I'm gonna be just so thrilled to know she has stabilized. It took my Adansonia a couple, I would say like two, to four weeks in that time frame to really acclimate and it did go into a bit of a shock. The main portion of her pole was that tallest vine and most of the roots were contained in the moss. So I'm sure she'll do fine. She might go into a little shock, but I'm not, I'm honestly, I'm not too worried. So I'm gonna give her just a little extra super thrive, put her back in the plant room so she can kind of get a little bit more light before the grow lights go out and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll leave down in the description my moss pole playlist. If you want to go through that playlist, I have lots of moss pole content on how I care for them, how I water them. And the Add Insomnia video was pretty much the same process. So if you want to watch that for another chop video, everything will be linked down below. So thank you guys for watching. I'm like out of breath now, like carrying all this stuff back and forth. But thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. I hope this was somewhat educational for you and I'll definitely update you on her progress and I'll let you know how she's doing. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.